up? What's up? What's up? Good morning, everybody. Just want to take you guys on a little day in the life of my routine. I know I said I'm, I'm building my YouTube channel. So I uh, just want to take you into my morning routine, what I do. I've been up since uh, 4 a.m. It is the third day of the year. And I've also started uh, Def Reset. That is uh, Jocko, Jocko Winlink's challenge to kind of start the first month of the year, start it off strong and stay disciplined, disciplined over everything. So I'm in my spare room here. I got a little mat. Got my bars there where I do a little work. So my routine right now is waking up 4 a.m. Immediately take a three minute cold shower. Miserable. <laughs> Straight miserable, um, but discipline is everything, right? That is the one thing that gets me jolt and gets me out of bed immediately. And it's that first win to be able to uh, endure something like that, like a cold shower. Um, that speaks volumes, it speaks to my subconscious, it speaks to my mental game, because it's miserable, it's hard. But once it's done, I'm fired up, ready to get some burpees in. So. Uh, right now it's about, I did my burpees from 5 to 6 a.m. Right now it's 6 a.m. I'm going to get my prayer on because uh, without the Lord and without the, the one who commands it all, we're nothing, right? So I'm going to report in to, to the commander, give my, give my what I like to call my leadership briefing because uh, with prayer, and speaking to God and, and releasing it and surrendering everything before the day really starts, um, I feel that I get uh, leadership training from him and I could go out to the world, conduct myself accordingly and keep my keep my mind sharp and keep my spiritual game sharp. Because uh, right now, uh, I don't know if you've noticed right now with the with, with the current times of, of the of the life that we're living in right now, mental health is gold. So um, yeah, just want to take you on a little, do a little video. Um, I'm going to stay off of being perfect on YouTube. I just going to vlog and I'm just going to go on there. I'm going to do my critical thinking videos as well, because critical thinking has been a big part of, uh, of my growth and my transition as a veteran, as a combat Marine, when I got out in 2009. And it's, it's the core uh, of everything that I've accomplished and everything I am doing right now. So um, physical, the physical fitness part is very important, but also the mental part, you know, what we're reading, what we're doing. So, all right, I'm gonna break this vlog up. You see my little, little get up here. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, uh, let me know on the comments on this video. If you guys want to see full length workout videos, um, they're going to be popped up on an iPhone, you know, regular, nothing special. But um, yeah, let me know. I'll be doing more workout vlogs, more little uh, leadership posts, whatever, just whatever comes to mind. I'm going to post it uh, again. Like I said, I've been looking at other YouTube channels and people just do what they do, you know, so uh, the, the key is consistency. Right. So somewhere out there. It's not to be famous, it's not to be popular, but somewhere out there, some people are gonna resonate with this and this is gonna help them. So uh, yeah, so this is my morning routine. It's about six something right now. I gotta get, I gotta get the praying and uh, I'll take you over to uh, my setup. I call it my war room or my, or my war panel where I you know, stand in front, report in, talk to God, so. All right, let me break this up. All right, guys, uh, time for prayer. This is my little setup right here. I got St. Michael the Archangel. And of course, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, this, is where, this is where I get my leadership. This is where I get everything. It's still dark outside. It's about six something. I already knocked out my cold shower, knocked out my burpees. Today's workout was um, 30. I did five sets of 30 Navy SEALs and 30 push-ups. So I'll try to vlog those. 
Um, I try, I'm not going to try to make it too boring <laughs> to where you're just watching me huff and puff and do burpees for like 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, but like I said, leave it in the comments and let me know. Uh, but this is it right here. This is, this is right here, the, the, the secret. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I was hesitant to like make this channel because I don't know everything. I don't have the answers and really, um, and you're going to see it throughout this channel sprinkled in everything that I post. Uh, Jesus, God is the answer. He's the one that gives the leadership. He's the one that gives the, the knowing, um, everything, yeah, everything, all the blessings come from him. My being able to get up, do that, you know, have the fortitude to, to do the burpees, the cold shower, all of that, it comes from God, you know, um, our health, our, our wealth, everything, everything comes from him. So uh, before we even open our eyes, he decides, you know, he's going to give us another day, another day to be here. So um, one of my main things that I like to stress about is first thing in the morning, either, P, you know, get the PT in, whatever. But most importantly, before the sun comes out, before, you know, the, the day really gets started, uh, report in, report in, give thanks and ask for leadership, ask for guidance. And I pray that every day, you know, that I put my best foot forward and uh, that if this is my calling right here to be a YouTuber or whatever, be online and and uh, use my my life, my my brand to help other people that um, that it comes from him and whatever he wants me to do. So, um, you know, I know there's a lot of channels on here on YouTube where people or influencers, you know, I, I get it. They're doing their grind, but I don't have the answers. I'm not the, hey, listen to me. You know, I got it all figured out. Like, no, you know, so this is just a little bit about my vlog. If you're wondering what that pig noise is, that's my dog right there. Hey, <laughs> trying to make a video. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to get my prayer on. Um, and yeah, this will be my first day in the life vlog on youtube and uh yeah we'll keep creating this youtube as we go right so all right guys talk to you in a bit all right guys we got a nice little nice little walk i just finished my prayers i pray about an hour about 45 minutes to an hour i'm catholic so I do my rosary. I do a bunch of prayers. <laughs> I also pray for people. Um, that is one thing that has helped me a lot as far as getting closer to God. And my whole spiritual game is praying for other people. A lot of the times we rush to our knees and we rush to like get the things we want. We want this, we want, oh please, please God, stop this. You know, make this happen. But when we, kind of put our when we practice humility and even though we're going through like a lot of stuff but we got a lot of wants and needs and we still take the time to pray for other people it's powerful it really uh does something to the spirit it does something to connect yourself with everyone you know with the universe because we're all connected we really are we're all going through the same struggle we all want to be somebody we all want to you know uh get it done but when you help other people out like that in the spiritual world and just pray for the better good of the people that you care about it comes back and not that we do things to get a blessing or you know to get good luck but uh it's you know humility is a big step in growth and mindset as well so uh and it, and it gives you that comfort knowing that you're not by yourself on everything that you're doing. So uh, this is another part of my routine right here. I have a... Nova, say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I have... That's my dog, Nova. She's a Belgian Malinois. So she's a service dog. Lots of energy. Lots and lots of energy. So my life is really... Um, molded around her like there's only certain things I could do 
I don't well I don't have a life pretty much I gotta be home <laughs> any chance that I get I'm I'm home with her I don't go out I don't have a social life because I need to be home with her and give her attention and time and her walks and all that so um it's about almost seven ish or around that time seven a little after seven been up since 4 a.m got my burpees in my cold workout cold shower prayer now i'm walking my dog so you know keep it moving so uh yeah like i said i'm gonna keep vlogging keep doing this and just go with the flow uh, not try to make things perfect and all that so uh yeah i'm excited to, to to do this on youtube because it's a journey you guys are all gonna kind of see as i as i grow and as i grow as an influencer or content creator whatever you want to categorize me <laughs> uh but yeah so all right let me get this let me get this dog walk out of the way and also another thing too i take advantage of being on a walk with my dog is i I hear a little scripture, a little Bible. Um, even though I prayed, and a lot of people would be like, oh, I already prayed, you know, I already, I already did all that. But receiving the word is very important, and I'm on the walk anyway, so um, it's great to hear the Bible, hear the word, get the scripture, and then keep it moving. Because all of this, you know, all of this is, is a lot of self-development, and, and business, they call it paying yourself first so before i even really really get out there and start the day i'm doing all of this inner work spiritual work and mental work so really uh, you'll be ready for whatever the day gives you and uh and whatever you believe in and stuff like that at the end of the day what this really is is leadership training because you have to be the leader in your own life and multi-dimensional ways you got to be a leader in not only your physical life but your your mental game how are you growing how are you developing mentally how are you growing spiritually you know what are you doing so all right let me get this walk let me hear my my scripture for the day and yeah you guys will be you guys will still be on this journey with me so all right talk to you guys in a bit all right, guys, dogs walked, uh, got my prayers in, and now good old Sweet Home Chicago, <laughs> Windy City. I'm on my commute, I'm on the way to Jiu Jitsu. I think I've spoken on my YouTube channel a little bit about like my. Alright guys, here in Windy City, Chicago, on my way to Jiu Jitsu right now, uh, Jiu Jitsu is a big part of my routine, my game, and uh, I'll be making some more, or I'll be, make, I'll be making some um, content on Jiu, -Jiu, Jiu Jitsu in the future, I don't know exactly what, I don't want to just set up like a weirdo. <laughs> in the gym and just record jiu-jitsu and stuff but um yeah and this is part of my routine here unfortunately i am the unlucky person <laughs> that does not have a car but in a big city like this you don't really need a car you know like you got public trans and my commute is about two and a half hours so i load up on my pack my pack is about 30 pounds with water food everything and uh yeah so, but I spend this time wisely. I listen to podcasts, I read, but I'll be vlogging it on, on my channel, my little, my little get up when I take public trains. All right, guys, trains here. Nice, train 111. All right, guys, see you in a bit. All right, we're finally here.
outside. Good training session in. Got a little souvenir. <laughs> That's not gonna feel too good later. All right, guys, I'm gonna get dressed and head out back to, to the commute back home. So tired, I can't even talk. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm on the train now. This is part of my routine as well. Take advantage of the, of the long commute. Do some, do some reading. So this ride, this train ride right here is about 30, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So it sucks taking public trans and it takes forever to, to, to get to the gym. But the good thing about all this is that I could use this time very productive and get the reading, you know, work on myself, self-development here. Sometimes if I don't feel like reading, I'll listen to like a podcast, something productive. That way every minute, every second of the day is accounted for. So I like to say that we all have the, the same 24 hours. So regardless of what your situation is, how much time you have we could always make time for the things that we want and most importantly to work on ourselves so all right I'm gonna get this ride and i'll see you guys when i get back all right what's up y'all back for the final touches of my day i was dreading it i, I was really tired honestly <laughs> Winter, winter really makes things um, a lot harder because it feels it's only like six something right now and it feels like it's like 11.39 at night. <laughs> but uh, no complaining. Winter's winter. It's the seasons. We could either complain about it and say, hey, oh, it's winter. It's hard. Or like I said, we could weaponize the winter, weaponize the mind and be like, hey, I'm out here still getting it. It's winter time, who cares? I'm gonna take my cold showers, I'm gonna do whatever, and the seasons change. So the same thing's gonna happen next year. So that's one thing when I moved back to Chicago from San Diego, I was like, man, the first thing I'm gonna do is not get into this rut of it's winter time, winter sucks, blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's gonna come around again. So no need to, uh, yeah, no need to, to fuss about it, you know, just growing it. All right, guys, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get my straw man workout. I'm gonna test the waters out. So right now today what I'm doing is doing just straight uh, heavy man sandbag. That bag is about 150, 160 pounds around there, give or take. I forgot how much I, how much it really you know maxes. I think it's 175 that it maxes out. I think it's about like 160, 165. So um, I'm in my basement right now. I apologize for the little chirp chirp. You know, uh, my apartment people haven't taken care of that, but <laughs> it's whatever, you know. Um, but uh, I'm going to get this workout in. I'm going to just do, I'm going to go for four sets of carries. And I'm going to do three different um, carries of sandbags. So I'm going to just deadlift it. So about four sets to three or four. It's heavy, so I won't get that many sets in it. And then I'm gonna do uh, bringing up the back here and then carrying it each shoulder, each side. I'm gonna do four sets, four sets of that. Right now I'm at picking it up on the shoulder maybe once or twice on the first set. But uh, I'm trying to grow and I'm trying to do four sets of four. Get it up on each shoulder four times without dropping it. That's how I know when my strength is going up. Uh, I'll be doing that and then from there, I will be doing a carry where, and all this, the reason why I do sandbags, especially strongman sandbags, it's it translates to, to grappling big time. Um, you know, having that, having that strength, you know, holding the weight, gripping it, using a lot of core, it, it really transfers over to, um, to grappling, so. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little workout here. I'm going to leave it filming, so we'll see how this goes. I never really filmed a, a workout, but hey, like I said, we're going with the flow. I appreciate you guys watching my vlog, you know, and being with me 
as time goes, I think I'm gonna get better and better at this vlogging and stuff like that. Everybody starts off dry in the beginning, right? Awkward. Nobody wants to film in public and stuff. <laughs> I know on the train, I was trying to like talk and be like, yeah, I'm an active reader, but everybody lowers their voice. So, uh, but it's all about, hey, I'm in this place, I'm vlogging, and what's up? I'm reading and I'm speaking to my to, to my people. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this motivates you. Hopefully this is all connected, right? And yeah, this is me. So this is the last part of my day right here. I just got to crank this out. After this, shower, pray, and then go to bed and do it all over again. So I'll be coming with some more content. But for right now, let's get this work out here. How's that view? Have you changed anything? Uh, not quite. I need, what I need is the bigger tripod, taller tripod for that, all up for that action right there. Oh, nah. Come on, come on. Be good to me, be good to me. Let's go. Uh. All right, first set. I'm going to try at least to go for three or four. All right, let's go for one more set and we'll move on to the next, next lifts.
rack. Three sets of deadlifts. Now we're gonna move on to the shoulder carry. Honestly, this is the shoulder carry is the most challenging of the sandbag carries. Man, they feel good, but it's the most challenging. Just doing that once or twice, it takes everything out of you. Let's go. Second set. Set, let's go. Let's go. Third set, third set.
All right, we got three. We got three dead, three sets of deadlifts, three shoulder carries, and then now another move I've been attempting is just to press it up and press it. I'm still not there, um, but I'm gonna give it a shot right now. So um, I keep it light. My sandbag days. I usually work and do sandbags a little longer, but in the winter time. You know, I only got such small space, I can't really do much. So in the morning I do burpees, calisthenics, push-ups, pull-ups, all of that. So I really do a workout. This is my third workout of the day. Um, Cause after the morning wake up, you know, I shower, take care of my dog, do all that, pray. And then I go to jujitsu and then jujitsu, whip it on, do all that, make it back home, refuel, you know, work for a little bit and then you know, my evening workout. So good thing is these workouts are not that long, but they're taxing, you know what I mean? And it's hard to like <laughs> get the energy to be like, damn, I'm gonna go to the basement and lift this heavy ass bag. But it feels good, you know, it feels good to, you know, be on here, get it done. That hot shower is gonna feel earned, you know? So uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's see if I can press it. Oh, damn, I'm sore as hell. Let's go, let's go. Let me put on some real, let me put something on, jump. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an old school cat, man. Not not so much into this new age stuff, but right here, it's my go-to right here. Project Pat. <laughs> Can never go wrong with Project Pat. Let's go. And this, this song right here is Red Rum. All right. It's gonna be a little bit before I can press it up. Uh, it's a heavy bag, man, but whatever. I gotta go, you know what I mean? All I gotta do is come over here and chip away, chip away. One day I'm gonna press that thing. But for now, if I can't press it, what I'll do is I'll substitute it and I'll just lift it up. So grab it and bring it up as high as possible. So that's gonna help me do the maneuver, at least get strong doing that. So when the day does come, I can press it up. So let's go. One more, one more. One more. Uh. 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 Man. Uh. Man. Thank you. 
guys. Set two, set two. All right, y'all. It's my little sandbag. Real quick, three, three, three. You know, get out. I'm pretty beat, I'm not gonna lie. That thing smoked me. Um, that's all you need. So if you don't, if you're one of those people that are extremely busy, you know, got a family, got kids and stuff like that, and really don't have the the way to, you know, go out and go to the gym and do all that, get yourself some sandbags. That's all you really need. Start off with a good sandbag, that way you can get familiar with it. So if you're gonna do like strongman sandbags, like that, you know, start off with the 100, throw that around. Once you start throwing that around easily, you know, 150, 200, and that's all you need. Body weight exercise, this, manipulate a body, you know, that's, this is equivalent to like grappling. Cause you're holding, you're using a lot of your core and just pure power, you know? So I love it. And uh, it's great for the winner. It's great for the winter because uh, it's cold outside and you know maybe I don't feel like going to the gym. Guess what's downstairs? So I got this one and I got that sandbag right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, let me move out of the way. Right there, it's got handles on it so you can do presses, you could do uh, deadlifts, you could do push-ups on it, you could work your back, so um, also, I have this. I'm about to finish off with these right here. So, this is about 80 pounds right here. This is good for throwing. So, if you ever see strong men, they do a lot of this stuff. But what I like with this, I'll put the fat grip on it. And then, bam, do some rolls, heavy rolls with it, you know? Bam. All right, so I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish with these uh, rolls right now. I've got two more sets, and I'm gonna call it a, call it a night. You know, it's been a long day. You know, 4, 4 a.m. Uh, wake up. I think I might even start doing 3 a.m. I know it sounds crazy, but I need that extra hour. You know, I need that extra hour for. Uh, 
reading in peace. I like reading on the train. It's not bad, but if I could get a solid hour of reading and reading on the train as well, the more, you know, um, I really, I really like reading. I owe a lot to reading because uh, I remember when I first heard about presidents back in the day, way back in the day, the first presidents, what they did for downtime was they would lock themselves in their office and read for like five hours. That was their downtime. And that spoke volumes as far as, all right, my storage is full, so I can't finish that message. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on my first vlog before this cuts off. <laughs> But, all right, guys, thank you. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what other kind of um, content you want me to create. So, all right, guys, remember, stay quantizing everything, all right? Out.